So, one day, I'm at work. I get a phone call from the narc. He's on the phone going ham. He ain't giving me a chance to say nothing, but he's telling me about how my son is supposedly being disrespectful and not doing what he's supposed to be doing, or when he asked him to do something, he didn't do it. He went in the room and closed the door. We just going to say that's what he said. Because we already know the narcs don't make sense with, with, when they lie anyway. So, he says everything he needs to say to me. And I mean, he talking with his chest. Just lying. Straight through his teeth. So, after he said what he got to say, he hangs up the phone on me. So, I call my son's cell phone. Son answers the phone. And I say, son, what's going on? And he was like, what are you talking about, mom? He was like, ain't nothing going on. We sitting here chilling. I was like, did Pops tell you to do something and you didn't do it? Did you get smart with him or whatever? He said, Mom, we all sitting in here chilling. And so he was like, he just got up and walked out the living room. He was like, but other than that, we all been in here joking around and playing and laughing since you left and went to, left and went to work or whatever. He was like, ain't, ain't nothing happy. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, he just called me and said that he asked you to do something. You didn't do it, and you was mad, disrespectful to him, this, that, and the third. And he was like, Mom, I promise you, ain't nothing happened. So he puts the phone down, and he goes, because I guess um, the nart had done went back in the room or whatever. So he goes in there, and he asked the nart. He was like, hey, Mom said you told me to do something, and I was rude, disrespectful, and I didn't do what you told me to do. He was like, what are you talking about? He was like, ah, oh, no, nah, because like I said, I don't think the narc knew I was on the phone. So my son must have had put the phone down to his side. And he was like, oh, no, no, no. I was just in the mess with your mama. That's all. Just trying to get on her toes while she at work. No, nah, ain't, ain't nothing happened. I was just messing with your mama. But you literally just called me, like, telling me how you feel and where I could put it and this, that, and the third. But you just playing. I mean, this man chewed me out from the rooter to the tutor and hung up the phone. And ain't nothing he said sounded like a whole joke to me at all. None of it. Didn't sound like no joke. Sound like he was dead serious. And then you got the audacity to hang up the phone on me. So at this point, I've never known him to lie on my son. Because they always had a good relationship since day one. So there was no reason for me to believe that he was lying on my son. You know what I'm saying? Because... They just, he just didn't do that with him. So it wasn't suspicious to me or anything like that. But this was still like, this was our second go around. He had done left, discarded me, and then came back. So this is on the second time he came back. And so, you know, he going to all extremes that he could possibly go to now at this point. Because, you know, I'm like, certain things you're going to get me with and certain things you're not. So playing with my son ain't going to be one of them. So he, like, he's sitting there talking to my son, like, ain't nothing happened. And I could tell they didn't have no issues because he's laughing in the background. My son sounded confused, like, we been good the whole time, mom. So I don't know what you're talking about. So after I hung up with him, I was like, all right, then. It, it's cool. I just wanted to make sure everything was straight. He was like, oh, no, nah, we good over here, mom. We good. He was like, trust me, I would have called you if something would have went down. He was like, but we good. Ain't nothing happened. He was like, he probably just messing with you or whatever. I said, okay, that's cool. I'd rather him be playing with me than him to be serious or whatever. But after that, after that scenario happened, he tried doing it again another time. So I don't know what number discard we won or, yeah, discard and then a, a get back together. I don't know what number we're on at this point, but he tried it again. And because I know him to lie and make up things, he going to tell me. He going to come tell me something about my son, about what he ain't doing, what he should be doing, this, that, and the third. But then at the end of it, he going to say, and you don't need to go and say nothing to him. Sometimes you just need to listen and observe things and pay attention to things around you, this, that, and the third. You ain't always got to run and tell him everything I tell you. Some things you just need to see for yourself and then move accordingly. No, sir. Uh-uh. Because around here, we're going to take accountability. My son not finna rock like that. 
my son come and talk to me about any and everything and that's the relationship that me and him have and i'm not letting nobody change that relationship between us so if if there's an issue going on that needs to be fixed don't come tell me if you don't want me to fix it because that's what i'm gonna do so he's like you ain't gotta run and tell oh yes i do I said, well, if you don't want me to go and say nothing to him, don't tell me nothing. Handle the situation yourself because I'm going to go ask questions. I'm going to make sure that we work this thing out, baby, because we're not going to live like that. No, that that's not how we roll. If my son got an issue, he can come to me and he can talk to me about it. If I got an issue with him or there's something going on, I can talk to my son. So ain't no need for us to be sitting here accusing him. If he's doing this, you we need to go and talk to him. He was like, you just, that's why I don't tell you nothing because you always want to go and say something to somebody. You daggone skippy. That's what you're supposed to do. So you want me to sit here and let him keep making mistakes like you made? Nah, mm -mm. that ain't going to work for me. And I even had to sit down and talk with him. I'm like, listen, I got boys. These boys are watching you how you handle me. And we're showing them how a relationship's supposed to go. I said, so... We not only dating for ourselves, we dating to show these kids what they supposed to do in relationships. I say, and you got to be a man. And so I, I constantly stay talking to him about being a man or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We would have days where it would just be me, like, turning off a girlfriend switch and just, just let me be your friend and give you some real truth about, you know, yourself and about things or whatever. Like, let me just keep it real with you some days. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always got to be pointing the, point the finger at him, this, that, and the third. I tried to see eye to eye. I tried to understand him, but there was just no understanding. And now I see why. I was going to wreck my brain trying to see his point of view. His point of view and my point of view are two different things. Narcs will run you up the wall and run you in circles and make you think. That you getting right on the target. And as soon as you get there, they'll snatch it away and make it something else. So, he just made up lies for no reason. I, I guess he just wanted to find something to argue with me about. Because he had nothing else to stand on to argue with me about. We literally had just had a good time before I went to work. Got off the phone right before I clocked in. So, there was no reason for him to be upset with me. But I know the issue wasn't about my son. The issue was with me. But being that my son said he had left and went in the room, that means he got a phone call. And that means he was on the phone with one of them supplies. And things didn't go accordingly with that supply. So now he needed a punching bag. And that was going to be me. While I'm at work, already under high tense stress, because I'm working at a hotel at this time. And them people don't be playing by their room. So I already got attitudes to deal with. So I don't need the extra attitude from you at home. When I get off here, I want to be able to go home. Y'all, I'm using my head a lot because I'm holding the, the uh, camera up. But I want to go home and be at peace. I want to leave this place where it's at. And when it's time for me to come back, I'll come back to it. But yeah, y'all, I mean, it's just crazy. They, they will lie. Lie, 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 lie. So that was just another lie. That he told to start an argument with me. Because something didn't go right with one of his supplies. That's what I'm going to say it was about. Because he's done it before. You know what I'm saying? Could walk outside, be on the phone with one of his supplies. And then come back in the house and just start talking to me. Like I am trash. <laughs> like I'm a nobody. And I be standing there looking at him like what? Where did this just come from? And won't say Sorry. Won't say my bad, won't say, listen, I'm just having a bad day. I didn't mean to take it out on you. No, no, none of that, baby. I wasn't even worth an apology to him. It's just what it is. Take it. So, I just wanted to come and give y'all another piece that I had thought about. And want you guys to have a great day. Grow something. Fall in love with yourself more every single day. And I ran across that car again with the tag in the front of it. And I ain't never seen this car that many times around town like that or whatever but yesterday i seen it, it was right in front of my bus and uh it was too far away for me to snap a picture or whatever but y'all get it steady telling me fall in love with myself every day no matter what one day at a time one minute at a time whatever it takes to fall in love with ourselves we gonna do it because we doing it 
we love it on ourselves and it's a beautiful thing y'all i'm so proud of myself in my garden i'm telling y'all i was like i ain't i ain't got the time to take care of nothing live besides my child my children or whatever but baby look at me i'm doing something that i thought i couldn't do and then again i didn't want to start until i got a house but baby, the way things going right now in this world, I got to start growing right now because ain't no need to wait till it get bad. I got to stay ready so I don't have to worry about getting ready. So that's what your girl doing. That's what we all got to do. We got to stay one foot in front of the other, one day at a time, make it happen. Do what we got to do to keep surviving in this world and to keep growing and healing within ourselves. So... I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Continue doing what y'all are doing. I love y'all. Have a great day.